with brand new characters, completely new world, and this is powered by a new next-gen engine that gives us amazing graphic fidelity and really innovative new ways to play the game. So what we wanted to do is create a cast of characters that you really felt more emotionally attached to. We had the opportunity to work with Stephen Gagan. This is the guy that won an Oscar for writing traffic. He wrote and directed Syriana. What they really wanted in this game, in Call of Duty Ghosts, is they wanted emotional reality. You know, they wanted these characters to feel real, to feel like real people. So the story opens up with a mass event. America is crippled. Our military forces are devastated. Our government's in disarray. And as the player, you are actually the underdog, fighting back against these superior forces. So the team you're a part of is formed from the remnants of all the U.S. Special Forces. Ghosts are a super elite fighting force, to like the Spartans, all the way through SEAL Team 6. They've adopted every technique that's useful for modern urban guerrilla style fighting. One of the fascinating new additions to your squad is a dog. We've had dogs in Call of Duty before, but never like this. This is someone you care about. This is a squad member. He does everything from sniffing out explosives to protecting the team. So with this next Call of Duty being in a new world on a whole new storyline, one of the things that we want to do to support that was create a new engine. Our goal this game is to make brand new next-gen characters and weapons has never been seen before in Call of Duty games. We have a new tech in the game, Sub-D. The idea is, is the closer you get to it, the more it tries to maintain the curvature that you see. This is very helpful on weapons and helmets for our characters. That makes a huge difference for visual fidelity and what the player sees from a distance as well as close-up. With a new next-gen console, this is an opportune time for us to reinvent the experience that we deliver. It's important to keep our core philosophies about gameplay drives tech. So what I mean by the animation features that we've been working on for Call of Duty Ghosts, one of the, the first things that come to mind is immersion. We have a new mantle system so that when you're running quickly and you hit a wall, you get this nice boom, you hit it and you leap and you go and you just maintain your momentum. But we have the lean feature that allows you to lean out and lean in and get a better view of the battlefield. So another feature that we're working on with animation is the slide. It allows you to get somewhere quickly, get out of the line of fire, and at the same time do it in a really cool looking way. We've added fluid dynamics, interactive smoke, and also added an AI system to it. So we have fish move out of the way when you get close to them. The poly counts, the texture increases, the shaders, the lighting, tech, the level should feel like you're really there. And all the technology that's going into it allows you to achieve those goals. With this being an all-new Call of Duty, we've really taken this opportunity to revamp multiplayer. One of these new MP features that I'm most excited about is dynamic maps. We have everything from big earthquakes and floods down to player-driven actions. Doors, explosive traps, things that change the flow of the map. All of this creates a new dynamic experience for the player. Another new feature is character customization. You can choose the heads, you can choose the bodies, you can choose the helmet and gear that you're wearing. You can get missions that we're bringing to next-gen multiplayer. We have the best fans in the world, and we're committed to creating for them a new next-generation Call of Duty experience. One of the key reasons Call of Duty has been as successful as it is is we focus on gameplay. It's the thing we design for. It's the thing that drives our success as a franchise. And with all of the new tech, all of the new storyline, everything that we're putting into this next-generation Call of Duty, we are still 60 frames a second, low-latency controls, 